My friend Pip loves Milo and Chip. So he's challenged me to a YouTuber build battle. But I'm going to be secretly using hacks to paste in this massive Milo and Chip build. Oh, Louie, I challenge you to a Milo and Chip build battle. Wait, really? Well, I hope you brought your best building skills because there's no way you're going to beat me. Oh, Louie, I always beat you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Pip. Wait a second. I want to make it so that you cannot see me. So I'm going to put a huge wall in front of us right now. Oh, Louie, I don't want you to see my build anyway, because you're probably going to try and copy it. All right then, Pip. Well, let me just make a big wall up here so that nobody is able to cheat in this build challenge. I don't want you being able to see my build. Oh, yeah. And I don't want you copying mine, since you Love to copy my builds. Well, don't you worry, Pip. I'm not going to be copying your builds. Because, guys, I'm actually going to be using slash slash paste and hacking to win in this build challenge. Just watch this. So what I'm going to do, guys, is go over here and just type slash slash paste. And now watch this. I have a huge Milo build that spawns in right here. Just look at this. It looks so real. Realistic. And the best part is he's got his hand on his hip and looks really cool. But what is Milo without his best friend Chip? So I'm going to paste in a chip build over here too. Let me just get it in. So I'll go right here and type slash slash paste and let's see what happened and whoa! Look, guys, we have this massive chip build that spawned next to Milo. And look at this. I have a nice big Milo build right here. And right next to him, his best friend Chip. This looks really awesome. But wait a second. Pip, did I forget to mention that we have to build some really, really secure traps inside of this? Oh, yeah, Louie. I know how to make the best traps in the world. All right. Well, we will see when time is up, whose base is the most secure. But now that I have Milo and Chip built, it's time for me to build the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just make an entrance in Chip's foot. I think this is going to be a fake entrance. So first of all, all I'm going to have to do is just get some blocks inside of Chip's foot and set them to orange, which is Chip's favorite color. And now all I have to do is find a way to get Pip to run into here and die. Let's see here. What could I put? Wait, I have a genius idea. I'm going to use these things in my inventory called ghost blocks. And these work like blocks that you can walk through. Just take a look at this, guys. If I put a ton of ghost blocks as a wall just here, it looks like a really obvious entrance. And you can jump straight in. But I just had a really genius idea. Pip is going to jump into this room and think it's safe, but I am going to go ahead and make a trap that will knock his socks off. Let me just go ahead and dig down into the ground, and then I'll make a ton of space down here. This is going to be a spike pitfall trap that captures Pip and kills him. All I have to do is place a bunch of spikes into this hole right here, and this should do perfectly. I need to make sure I fill all of these blocks with spikes. I cannot leave one space for Pip to escape. But just in case he decides to try and break this dirt, I am going to replace all of the blocks around these spikes with obsidian. Just like this. There is no escape now. If Pip falls in, he is a goner for sure. But I don't know, guys. This seems really obvious. I think I need to make it so that Pip will walk over and fall straight in. If it's open like this, he will not just notice and walk around. So, maybe Maybe I should use some of these ghost blocks again. After all, this is the easiest way to trick Pip into falling into a hole. And perfect. Now, he's going to walk straight into here. And there doesn't seem to be anything in here. But when he walks straight in, he falls into these spikes and dies. This is genius. But wait a second. Something's not right. If Pip walks into this room and there's nothing here, he might get suspicious and leave. And we do not want 
wants that. So let me go ahead and build some diamonds just at the end of this room to just convince him to maybe walk a little bit further in. I'll make sure there's a ton of diamonds, like a million billion dollars worth. I think that should do. So what's going to happen is Pip will walk towards the diamonds and fall straight into the trap. But just in case Pip manages to somehow get over this, I am going to go ahead and add some mines around it. But not just any normal mines. I'm going to use these mines that look like diamond ore. And if you're not careful and you touch them, you'll blow up! Awesome. I think this will definitely be enough to stop Pip from getting inside the base. And it will kill him so many times. But there we go. I now have this fake entrance. But but I think I need a real entrance now. And I think the real one should be all the way back here behind Milo's foot. I'll just put it right here. This should be good enough. Let me just make it round like this. And you know what? I'm going to cover this entrance in diamonds. And all I need to do now is just put a keypad door down. This way I can secure the entrance from Pip. And there is no way he can get inside because I will have a passcode, which is one, two, three. Three, four, and he will never guess it. Wait a second. I'm very forgetful. I might accidentally forget my own passcode. So maybe I should leave myself a hint around here somewhere. And wait, I have a good idea. This big stone wall here could work as a way for me to remember my password. Just watch this. If my password is one, two, three, four, maybe I can go ahead and give myself a clue to get in by putting one andesite block here, two right here, three here, and then four. So if I ever forget my passcode, I just have to look at this wall and count the amount of andesite blocks in each row to get one, two, three, four. That will allow me to get inside of my base. There is no way Pip will be able to guess that. And my base will be 100% more secure than his. But you know what? Since I have now done a few traps, I think it's time to take a look at what Pip is up to. And maybe I could troll him. Let's take a look. So I'll break through the wall just like this and wait, there's Pip! Oh, now that my Milo and Chip builds are done, I think it's time to start placing my traps! Whoa, he's placing a bunch of OP trolls and traps and whoa! Oh, even a frost maw! That's super dangerous! I have to troll him right now and slow him down! So let me go ahead and get an invisibility potion and get over to his side. Let's go, guys. So here we go. I'll just go around this wall and... Whoa. Look, Pip is putting down a ton of traps. All right. I think this is enough for my first defense. Now it's time to finish up my build. All right, guys. Look, it seems like Pip is going over here and he's building his chip build right now. But what if I troll him just a little bit? If I just use this command right here, I could go ahead and change his chip into a... Milo build! Now he's got two Milos and no chip. Hey! What just happened? Why is it blue now? It's not supposed to be blue. Oh my gosh, Pip is getting so angry. Look, he's going to have to replace all of those blocks block by block! This is going to take me hours. How did this happen to Chip? Now that Pip is going to have to place all of these blocks one by one, that will definitely slow him down and allow me to build way more traps inside of my base. A uh, good luck, Pip! All right, there we go, guys. I'm back at my Milo and Chip build. Let me just drink some milk to stop being invisible. Here we go, and I'm back. Now, all I have to do is just keep a building so I have my fake entrance and my real entrance. Let's just put the passcode one, two, three, four, and now we can start building some traps to absolutely confuse Pip. This way, he will never be able to get all of the diamonds I'll be putting inside of my base. So for the first trap, what I'm going to do is some parkour. After all, I know Pip is terrible at that. All I have to do is just get 
all of these blocks on the ground and set them to lava. This will work as a big lava pit and Pip won't have a chance at beating this. I think I'll just make a very small parkour course to test out Pip's parkour skills. I'll use some really difficult blocks like iron bars, black iron blocks, and a bunch of blue ice. This way, I can make some of the jumps very slippery, like this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, guys, it's really, really slippy. Oh, oh I'm gonna fall into the lava. Yeah, I think this will definitely work against Pip. There is no way he's going to be able to do this. I'm going to make some very difficult jumps like this out of iron bars. So he has to be very careful. Then I'll go ahead and go up the sides with light blue wool. And I think I'll go up this base in a spiral shape just like this. After all, I love spiral builds. They look really cool. And I also love to have spiral staircases is in my houses. This will definitely look good once I'm finished. But there we go. I've added a few spirals going all the way up, but I think I'll make this parkour just a little bit harder. I'm going to make all of these jumps just two blocks wider like this. Don't worry, guys. I'm not making the parkour easier. I'm just going to add some of these spikes so Pip has to jump diagonally. If he touches them, though, they knock him back just like this. Look, I'm bouncing all around. So Pip is going to have to jump from this spike here to this one to this one and then jump all the way up this parkour to the top. Now let's go ahead and add a roof in. This is so that I will be able to make another floor. So I'll put a blue floor up there. Now all I have to do is go ahead and make a way up to the next floor. And I want to make this very, very difficult for Pip. So what I think I'll do is I'll make a very, very scary way up. Pip will have no idea when he does this. But look, guys, if I get some of these emerald fans, I can place them under the lava just like that. Look, you can't see it, but if I jump into the lava, it blows me up here to the next room. It's crazy. I think this will work really well. All that Pip has to do is take a leap of faith into the middle of the lava, and it blows him up to the next room. But just so that he doesn't break his leg, I'm going to go ahead and put some slime blocks down so that he can land there. I think that was a super fun parkour. But now I have to put something else in this room. Now that Pip will have completed this parkour, I think I should do something pretty diabolical, guys. I am going to make an extremely difficult parkour course. If he thinks that's all the parkour he'll have to complete today, he is 100% wrong. I'm going to add some really difficult jumps jumps right after I go ahead and place more lava all over the ground, just like this. Perfect, guys. This is coming along nicely. But what I'm going to do is grab some of these mechanical bearings here, and I'll also get some sticky glue. Now, I'll be able to make a ton of cool parkour jumps. I just need to get some of these motors first, and now I can get started. Let's go ahead and put this mechanical bearing down and get some super glue. Now, I just need to stick all of these blocks together, just like this. And you guys will see what happens in just a second. But if I go ahead and switch it on, look at this. The jumps all spin around, which is really good. If I can jump onto here, it's going to make Pip really dizzy. You know what? I think I'm going to do another one. Let me go ahead and just place it right here. This one is going to spin around in a circle, and Pip is going to have to jump on top of it. Just watch this. I'll just do a few blocks going up here. And now, I just have to go ahead and put the mechanical bearing back. And whoa, now we have a spinning parkour jump. Pip is going to have to jump for his life to get to it. I hope Pip is going to be able to do this. Look, he has to jump onto this block right here. And then go all the way for this one and run up to the top. It's like a tightrope at a circus. It's really, really, really difficult. Look, I'll try it myself 
myself and I'm up here and wait, where can I even jump from there? That's crazy. You know what? I'm going to make it really difficult for Pip. I'm going to make the jump he has to make all the way up here. So he's going to have to go from this block right here onto this long tightrope and then to this tiny little block. It's going to be super diabolical. And the best part is it's all blue. So it'll blend in with the Milo build around him. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a staircase going up. After all, I think this is enough spinning parkour for Pip. Let's go ahead and make a staircase going to the next room. And then I will add a fan that sends him all the way up into the sky. So he can get up here into Milo's body. Boom. This is a huge Milo body. I'll be able to put so many things in here. But now that Pip gets up here, I think it's time for me to make a very, very dangerous trap. And I think it has to involve some zombies. So what I'm going to do is put a chest right here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and grab an anvil. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about in a moment. All right, now I have this chest and this anvil. I can go ahead and get a mutant zombie spawn egg. And watch this. If Pip ever saw this mutant zombie spawn egg, he would never decide to spawn it in. But he will if I change the name of it. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name to the Awesome Seed Goblin. He is definitely going to want to spawn that in. Let me just put it in that chest right there. So what is going to happen is Pip will walk into my base over here, see that there is a spawn egg for an awesome seed goblin, and because he absolutely loves seeds, he's going to try and spawn it in, and it's going to kill him. But if I wanted to get through my own base, I would need some swords and weapons to fight that zombie, just in case things got out of hand. So what I'm going to do is grab a secret chest. There is no way Pip would be able to find this. What I'm going to do is place it right here. This diamond block that's sticking out of the wall works as a chest, which is amazing for me because I will be able to put a bunch of really overpowered armor inside like this netherite armor. I'm going to wear that whenever I need to fight that mutant zombie. And if you guys didn't know, the mutant zombie's weakness is fire. So I'm also going to put a flint and steel inside. There we go. Perfect. This room should definitely be able to slow down Pip. Let's go ahead and build another room inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another staircase going all the way up. This will take Pip to the next room. And it should be quite easy for me to build some traps from here. Because Pip is very, very dumb. And he will fall for anything. Look at this though. Before he can get onto the staircase, I'm going to make him find another password for another keypad door. There is absolutely no way he's going to know what the password is, which is amazing for me. But just so he cannot cheat and get in here somehow, I'm going to block it off with these red blocks just like that. I think I'm going to have the password as 2468, just like that. And I think what I'm going to do is hide a password somewhere. And you know what? I could probably use another secret chest and I'll put it right behind here as this red card concrete block. Now what I'm going to do is get a piece of paper and an anvil. And just in case I forget the password, it will be right here on a piece of paper so that I can remember it whenever I need to. There we go. That is really cool. Now let's just go ahead and build this staircase up because this next trap is going to be even better than the last one. Here we go. I'm just going to put a little red wall coming all the way over here towards Milo's belly. We are really high up right now. But what I'm going to do is make a Squid Games parkour. This will definitely be able to stop Pip because he's really bad at guessing. What I'm going to do is make it just like in the Squid Game show. I'm going to get some glass and some ghost blocks like this. And I'm going to place them just far enough apart from each other like that. And the craziest part is, if Pip fails any of these jumps, he's going to fall all the way down there and die. And it means he will no longer be able to get any of my loot. Wait a second. It seems like I can see Pip's Milo build peeking over the top of the wall. It kind of looks pretty bad though, but what does Chip look like? Whoa, Chip is just a pair of legs. You know, guys, I think I'm easily going to win this build challenge. You know what? I'll go say hello to Pip.
tip right after I'm finished here. Let's just make a few jumps for this squid game challenge. I just turned this glass block into a ghost block, meaning if Pip jumps over here, he will fall <laughs> straight through and perish down below. Now let's just do a few jumps just like that. I'm going to make the left side wrong twice in a row just to confuse Pip. Then finally, I'll make the right hand side a real jump and the left hand side wrong just like this. So the right way across is right, right, and then left. But Pip won't know that and wait, neither will I. If I forget, how am I going to get to all of my loot in my secret vault? Oh, I think I need to give myself a clue. So what I'll do is I will put a red piece of concrete under every single ghost block that is wrong, just like that, so that I'll be able to see which way is right and wrong. So the red concrete will tell me not to jump there, and I'll do it right here as well. And then it switches up to over here, so I'll put a red piece of concrete there. Now, I know the correct way is the right, and then the right, and then the left, and then I can complete this squid game challenge very, very easily. But now that I've come out of the Milo build, I think I want to go inside of the chip build. So I'm going to make an elytra course that will take me and Pip all the way over there. Let me just get a double chest right here and fill it up with an elytra. And I'll also give us some rockets too, because it looks really, really awesome. I love the red and white colors of rockets and also how they boost you really fast. It's going to be really fun. And you know what? Since I have these elytras that I can fly with, how about I make an elytra flying course that me and Pip have to be able to get through. That should be genius. And to make it even more diabolical, I'm going to make them spin like I did with the parkour course. Let's just go ahead and get these mechanical bearings and place them towards each other like this. Now, I'll get a creative motor and put it right here. As you can see now, it spins this block around. All I have to do now is get a bunch of super glue and make a bunch of hoop the hoops right here. And as you guys can see, I've made a very, very, very rectangular looking loop. But if I go ahead and add a motor, it becomes a really, really difficult loop to fly through as it spins around like crazy. I could probably do this a few more times. Let me just stop that one and I'll start them all at the end once I've completed building them. I'll put another one right here. Now all I have to do is build another loop. I'll make this one a little bit stranger looking though. I think I'll have it so that there's a little bit of a line going through the middle that can stop you from flying through. That will be really, really dangerous. I'm pretty sure Pip will not be able to fly through it. I'm going to do this kind of shape like this. It's going to be a diamond shape like that. And I'm pretty sure Pip will fail flying through it and it will definitely hurt him a lot. And maybe he won't want to go and find my secret loot inside of this base anymore. There we go. That is looking awesome. Now, if I put this motor behind it, it should spin. Whoa! That is really cool, guys. I don't think there's any way that... I don't think there's any way that Pip will get through there. All right, we have one rectangular one that I'm going to have spin now. And then we have one circular one, which will spin as well. Now, all I need is just some regular hoops that Pip is going to have to fly through. So I'm going to make them very, very normal. And they aren't going to move at all. After all, Pip needs a little bit of a break from flying through moving targets like that. And it's going to take us directly into the chip build straight through his belly button just like this. I'll go ahead and build just like that. And now with the elytra, we will fly straight over here and into Chip's belly button. This is going to be really awesome guys, cause I'm going to put another trap inside of here to stop Pip. So when Pip decides to land inside of this chip build, it's time for me to go ahead and ask him some questions. I think a question room would be a really good idea. After all, Pip is terrible at trivia. Never answer any questions about me or him. I'll definitely make these questions hard too, because there is no way I can have Pip getting through this base. I need to win this build challenge, guys. And if you think I will, comment down below. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start on the question room. I think I'll make it with red blocks like this, because I absolutely love having a bunch of red in my builds. After all, 
It's my favorite color, guys. And I'm pretty sure you all know that. There we go. I now have these question room doors that are two blocks high. And what I'm going to do here is add a few questions that Pip can answer. And if he picks the wrong answer, he will die. So what I'm going to ask first is whose base is the best? And you guys already know what the right answer is. It's me, duh! So I'm going to make this side Pip, and then I'm going to make this side's answer Louie. And since you guys know that my side is better, this side won't do anything, and you'll be able to walk through just fine. But on this side, it's going to kill you! Just like this. I'll grab some ghost blocks from my inventory and place them down, and underneath, I'm going to put some spikes that are going to be super, super deadly, and Pip will die instantly if he falls into them. There we go, guys. Now, it's time to add another question. After all, we need to make sure that there's a very low chance Pip will get through this base. So the more questions, the better. All right, here we go. Over here, I'm going to ask the second question, and that will be, who is the best, Milo or Chip? And if you guys have ever watched Milo and Chip, you would know exactly who I like the best, and that is definitely Chip. He's a human, just like me. And Milo kind of reminds me of Pip, so I'm pretty sure Pip is going to choose the Milo door. So I need to make sure this one is rigged with a trap. I'll go ahead and put some more spikes underneath. This will definitely stop him, and it will be really funny to watch him fall in. There we go, guys. This is pretty cool. We now have a question room that works. And just so that Pip does not cheat, I'm going to put some fences on both sides over here to stop him from jumping off of the question room and running away. There we go. This looks really good. But now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and make a ladder going all the way up. This will take Pip into the next room, which I think I want to make into a spot the difference room. Let me just put some ladders up and we can start working on it. Let's just build up like this. And now let's put the next floor up here. I'm going to need an axe and I'm going to use pro world edit commands to be able to build the next floor as quickly as possible. After all, speed is key when you win in a build challenge. All right, I've replaced all of the air on the ground there with orange concrete, and now I can start on the next room. But the next room is going to be Milo and Chip's bedroom, and Pip is going to have to find a secret object inside to be able to escape. It's going to be really, really crazy. Look, I'm going to put one side over here for Chip, and then on this side, I'm going to replace the floor for Milo with blue. So I'll replace the orange concrete to light blue concrete. After all, Milo is light blue. There we go. That should be pretty good. All right, so I'm going to build up Chip's room right now. And this should be quite easy to build. I just need to make sure it has everything Chip would want. Like a kitchen and a living room. So I'll have a sofa. But first, let's build that kitchen. I'm going to put some kitchen tiles all the way around this room. Just like this. And this will will let you know that this is where the kitchen will be. So, boom. We have a bunch of these awesome kitchen tiles everywhere. Now, it's time to go ahead and work on a kitchen table. So, I'm going to use these stripped oak logs just like this. I think this is pretty cool. But what is a kitchen without a sink that you can wash your hands at? So, I'll put one right in there. And I'm also going to need an oven because, after all, you cook in the kitchen. That looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to need need is a TV. So I'm going to put it right here and then have a nice red sofa right here. This way, Chip will be able to watch TV whenever he wants to. And then finally, I'm going to get a bunch of bookshelves like this and place them all across the wall because Chip loves to read just like I do. And if you guys love to read too, then make sure to like the video. But now it's time to work on Milo's room. So I'm going to build up two blocks high for a little wall right here. And maybe I should make it a tiny bit taller, just like Chip's room. That way, if Pip decides to jump on a block, he won't be able to escape. And now for Milo, what I'm going to do is add a really cool aquarium. This might distract Pip, keep him from beating my base. Let me just put some glass in like this. And I think that will be a good enough aquarium. We've made it just about tall enough. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's just put some glass over the top, and then we can add some fish inside. I'll grab some buckets right here, and let's put some squids inside. That looks pretty cool, guys. 
Now all that's left is to add a really cool pool in here. After all, I know that Milo absolutely loves going swimming. So I'm going to put a ton of water in this pool with a really cool diving board here. This way, Pip will have to test his diving skills and beat me in a dive off to be able to get through this room. Woohoo! I think that is really good. Now, let's go ahead and build the next room. But I think Pip is definitely going to have to beat me at this dive off for the code. So I'll wait until he does that until I give him the code to get to the next room up here. But speaking of Pip, I just had a thought. What is he up to? I haven't seen him building in a long time. Maybe I should go check on him. Let's go over to his side. So let's just fly down here and let's break through this wall right here and whoa it seems like pip has been hard at work he hasn't been working on his chip build but it seems like he's putting all of his effort into milo there's a bunch of traps in there and oh my goodness why does milo look like that i don't know what to say about it maybe he's sick but you know what i guess that'll have to do it seems like pip has been building up very high so it looks like he has a lot of traps in his base so maybe i should troll one let me just go and visit and troll Pip. I have to be very careful though, because if he notices me, he's going to kick me from the build challenge and I won't be able to win. All right, here we go. So it seems like Pip has been building a bunch of parkour. This should be easy to get through though. All I have to do is just give myself a ladder going all the way up the side. There is no way he's going to notice that and get rid of it, right? Let me just go to the next room. Oh, what is this? Whoa, it's it's a question room. You know what? I'm not going to mess with that. Where is he? All right, guys. It seems like he's up here. This is where he's at right now. Seems he just finished building a bunch of parkour. Maybe I can go ahead and add a ladder all the way up this one as well. There's no way he's going to notice. There we go. Perfect. Let me just see what he's building next. Now that I have so many traps in my Milo, I think I'm going to do one last grand finale trap. This is going to be a fine lesson. Lever trap. Louie is horrible at find the lever. Wait, what is Pip talking about? I'm great at find the lever, especially when I know where it is. Let me just watch where he puts the real lever, and I'll be able to know how to escape. Oh, this is so funny. I'm putting levers everywhere. And I think the real lever is going to be up here. Oh, this is going to be called wireless redstone, guys. So when you flick this lever, I haven't set it up yet, but the door will open and Louie will win the Milo. Wait, guys, look, that is the correct lever right there. Maybe just so I know it's the real one. I'll just go ahead and put a block of red wool right next to it. Then when I walk into this room, I'll be able to see that red wool and know that I've found the right lever. All right, let's just finish setting up this redstone. And wait a second, I don't remember this being red. Oh, let me just fix this. Uh-oh, uh -oh. guys, this is really bad. It seems like Pip is starting to get a little bit suspicious that I might be in his base. Well, now that this lever is working, let me see if something else changed in the building because my game might be lagging. Oh, let's just go over here and wait a second. I don't remember building the ladder all the way up. How did this get here? Oh no, guys, this is really, really bad. Pip has found the ladders that I put all the way up. Hopefully he doesn't put two and two together and realize it was me. There has to be someone around me. Let me go back to my find the lever room. Uh oh, here comes Pip. Guys, I need someone to take the blame. And wait, I have an idea. Let me just put a chicken down right here. And uh, hopefully Pip will think that chicken was the one who broke his base. Oh, I know you're right up here, you culprit. Where are you? A chicken? Oh, how did this chicken get here? Guys, it seems like Pip is taking the bait. He's getting really angry at that chicken for ruining everything. Oh, I knew you chickens were horrible. Whoa, wait, he just killed the chicken. Oh, I feel really bad now. Well, at least I found the culprit, guys, so nothing else 
weird should be happening in my face. Oh, guys, that is terrifying. I definitely don't want to get in Pip's way. Do you see what he did to that chicken? You know what? I think I'll go back to my base now. I need to go quickly before he finds out I'm in there. And <laughs> it still looks really funny. All right, guys, I'm back at my base now. And I just got through my spot the difference room or my diving challenge room. Now, it's time to go ahead and add one more floor to this thing. It has to be hard enough to be able to stop Pip, but also easy enough that I can get through it. And I think I have the perfect idea for what I can do. Let me go ahead and grab some red concrete. And I'm going to place down a big red floor. And this is going to be a laser room. And you're going to have to dodge lasers like in the Matrix. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Let me make this a little bit bigger, though. I want to make sure this laser room is strong enough to stop Pip. So let me set this all to red concrete, just like this. It should definitely be strong enough to stop Pip. I'm 100% sure of it. Now all I have to do is build up the walls. This is going to have to contain all of the laser traps that I'm going to put inside of it. And the wall has to be strong enough that Pip will not break his way through. After all, Pip is very good at cheating through my builds, so I need to be very careful to make it hard for him. All right, here we go. I've gone ahead and placed down a ton of these red concrete blocks. Now I just need to build one more wall and we can get started on the laser trap. So what I'm going to do is go all the way over here and boom. There we go. The wall is now complete. I'm just going to throw down a bunch of redstone blocks in the walls just everywhere like this. These are going to make the lasers work and it will make this room as deadly as it has to be. All right, here we go. I have all of these redstone blocks in place. Now it's time to add a ton of deadly lasers. So I'll add one right there and I'm going to set it to a much more powerful laser. That looks really deadly. And whoa, look at all of these super crazy lasers. Pip is not going to know where to start. But I think I know what to do. I'm going to put a red block right here and I'm going to make a few jumps that he can do so he can get over these lasers just like this. I'll make a few parkour jumps that go through these lasers in really really difficult areas. And for some of them, he's going to have to run through the lasers. It will be really deadly. But once he gets through to here, I'm going to give him a ladder finally to escape. It's going to be really awesome. And I can't wait to see how Pip reacts. But there we go. Now that Pip has gotten through this laser room, I guess I will award him with the craziest loot in Minecraft. So I have to build a vault door right now. I'm going to go ahead and build this out of iron because that is what real-life vaults are made out of. Look, I'll put some iron just like that, and I think I'm going to secure it with a keypad door one more time. So let's grab one of those and place it down. The password for this door is going to be 9999. And I don't think Pip is going to know how to find the passcode for that door, but that's mainly because he's not going to have to. He only has to do a little bit of parkour around this wall to get to the diamonds on the other side. He will be too dumb to realize that he has to do that. He will think he has to get the passcode. But there we go. We've now built my vault. And it's now time to put a bunch of diamonds at the end. Pip deserves this reward for winning my base. Awesome, guys. I think this is definitely going to be the best Milo and Chip base ever built in Minecraft. Wait a second. Guys, time is up. We need to go back to the middle and meet Pip to be able to play through the builds together. Right, I hope you're ready because you're about to lose this YouTuber build challenge. What? No, there is no way. Look, Pip, I'm in survival mode and now I'm going to play through your Milo and Chip build. Oh, yeah. You better be in survival mode because you're going to die so much. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Look, all of these traps in front of your base could not even touch me. Oh. That was terrible. <laughs> that was just to troll you, Louie. The real traps are in here. All right, let's go inside and see how many times I die. Come on in and let the fun begin, Louie. All right, so there's some spikes here and a bunch of scary heads. <laughs> Did you think this would scare me, though, Pip? I'm confident I can beat your Milo and Chip build. Oh, yeah. And wait a second. Why is there a ladder here? Oh, um, that's just my secret way up. I think I'll go this no. way. No, no, 
No. Oh, fine. You have to do the parkour yourself. All right, Pip. Well, I guess I'll start from here. And let's jump across all of these jumps and... Ah. Whoa, that was really deadly. Ah, Ow. You fell. These parkour jumps are very difficult, Pip. Good job. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Louie. But we're only just getting started. Oh, wait, just getting started? Oh, I hope these don't get any harder. Oh, oh, oh these jumps are really crazy. I thought they would be easy because they're made out of dirt. I got up your parkour, Pip, but what is this? A question room? Yeah, Bluey. Welcome to the question room. We have very difficult questions today. All right, let me see here. Who is Pip's favorite superhero? <laughs> Wait, I think I know this one. You have a friend called Pip Man, so it's got to be Batman. Or is it, Bluey? I really like Aquaman. He loves the water, and so do I. No, you don't, Pip. I know you cannot swim. So, it's got to be Batman. I'll go in here and... Whoa, I'm completely safe. All right, Louie. That might have been an easy question, but this question is going to be impossible. Oh, really, buddy? I think it'll be easy. Let's see. What school did Louie not go to? Pip, this is the easiest question ever. I know what school I didn't go to because I'm Louie himself. Wait. You are? Oh my gosh, can I get an autograph? No, Pip. Look, let's take a look. Building school and farming school. Well, I know myself best, and I know that I didn't go to farming school, so I'll go through this door, and I'm safe. Now this next question is, what is Louie's mom's number? Oh, wait, what? What is my mom's number? Pip, I'm not going to give you her number. Oh, then you should look at the signs, Louie. Please give me her number and please give me her number. Pip, I'm not giving you my mom's number. Uh, I'm just going to go through. Oh, Louis, she makes really good cookies. I really want one. Oh, don't worry, Pip. I'll invite you over to my mom's house one day and we can have cookies together. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, but now we're up this ladder. What is this next room about? Oh, this is a super difficult maze, Louis. And watch out. There might be traps around. I see a lot of paintings, and I don't see any traps. Oh, I don't know if I like this maze. Oh, let's see. I don't see anything here. And wait a second. Did I hear an arrow go off, Pip? No, Louie. Just get to the end of the maze. All right. And ow! <laughs> wait. <laughs> what? What happened? Wait. Look. There's an arrow trap behind ghost blocks. Oh, you got me there, Pip. Yep, Louie. That was so funny. Oh, your traps may be okay. Okay, but they're not good enough to kill me. It's going to take a lot more than that. Uh-huh. Well, congratulations, Louie. You made it to the end of the maze. Go up the ladder to claim your prize. Wait, seriously? Your base was that easy and... Uh, oh, Pip. It's a <laughs> dead end. Well, Louie, it looks like you have to find the way out. Good luck. You lied to me, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Because why would paintings just be on a wall like this for no reason. Maybe there's a door hidden behind. Just for behind. decoration. Whoa. Whoa, that was really scary. And oh, wait, how am I supposed to get through here, Pip? There's a big laser in the way. Well, Louie, if you're so smart, then go through the lasers. All right, I'm going through and... Wait a second, why is this laser doing no damage? <laughs> it has no damage upgrades inside. It was a prank, Louie. I was supposed to make you think it was impossible, so you would get... Give up! Oh, you're such a little prankster, Pip. You know what? I'm going to keep doing your base now. And wait, look! A ladder I can climb up! No! <laughs> no, you're doing these ladders, Louie. All right, fine. I'll climb up all of these ladder jumps in this parkour room. Whoa, these are a lot easier than the other parkour rooms, though. Wait, whoa! <laughs> Pip! Oh my gosh, Louie, this is comedy gold! Oh, you know what? Just get Get away, Pip. I'm not falling for this trap anymore. And whoa, what is this room? Wait, I think I recognize this. Well, Louie, this is the find the 
lever room. And can you find the lever to that door over there? Um, well, I don't know about you, Pip, but the last time I was over here, it was on the roof somewhere. So it's probably either this one. Wait, you uh, were over one. here? No, Pip, huh? I wasn't over here. Why would I do that? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought you were cheating. Oh, no, I would never cheat, Pip. After all, the viewers know that I am a very good builder, and uh, I totally don't use slash slash paste. Slash slash what? No, nothing, Pip. Don't worry about it. All right, Louie. But go ahead and try to find this lever, and be careful. There's so many levers. All right, Pip. Don't worry. I already know what the right one is. It's this one up here. And that opens the door, so I can go through. No, that's not the right lever. Oh, well, then, Pip, why did I make it through? I must have done the wrong thing. Oh, don't worry, buddy. At the end of the day, we are at the last part of your base, I'm pretty sure. What is this room? Well, Louis, these chests over here are half of your prize. What? Half of my prize? And, uh, Pip, there's nothing in this chest. Oh, not that chest, Louis. The other chest. Oh, let me take a look and... Whoa, I got a ton of gold. A mine cart? I'm assuming I have to use this roller coaster now. Yep, Louis. Good luck and pay attention to where you're going. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa, wait, how am I floating? This is crazy and... Whoa, I think I'm going into Chip's mouth and... Oh my gosh, Pip, there's so many diamonds in here. Congratulations, Louis. You win fair and square. That was really, really easy. But, Pip, I don't think you're going to have as much luck inside of my base. Oh, sure I will, Louie. Your base is going to be a breeze. Oh, yeah? Well, how about you follow me and find out? All right, Pip. I would close your eyes if I were you, because you're going to be very shocked when you see my base. Close my eyes? Why would I close my... Holy moly! Yep, this is my Chip and Milo build, Pip. What do you think? <laughs> How is it so big? Yeah, I knew you would react like this. You're speechless, buddy. Okay, Louie. If you spent all of this time making these builds, surely your traps are horrible. Well, that depends, Pip. Where do you think my entrance is for my base? Maybe you won't even find it. Oh, well... Surely it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, I don't know where it could ever be, Pip. I would not come over here where this big orange wall is. It's not here. Well, well I see there's a hole in Chip's belly button. Is that the entrance? No, Pip. That is halfway through my base. But I don't think you're going to ever get inside. Oh, well, what are you doing over here, Louie? What is this? Oh, I'm doing nothing, Pip. I'm uh, just, um, I'm just standing around. How are you inside of the wall, Louie? And wait, did I win your base already, Louie? Oh, I knew your base was going to be so easy. Let me get those. Whoa, what? <laughs> You fell into my spike trap. That was super easy. Uh, but I guess you now know there's a trap there. And you can get to this massive pile of diamonds. Give me those diamonds, Louie. I win those diamonds fair and square. All right, buddy. Look, there's a way around the spike pit just over here. Just follow me over this way and you can have your diamonds. All right, Louie. Let me get these diamonds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, no, Pip. It seems like you just blew up. But look, there's still some diamonds in there you can get. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Give me these diamonds. I want the no! diamonds. Oh, oh, my leg. I'm burning. This isn't going to stop me from getting my diamonds. Ow. What? No way. How are you still alive, Pip? You've run into those diamonds about a million times. And they're fake mines. Oh, one of them has to be real. No, Come Pip. None of them are give real. Give me the diamonds. Oh, come on, Pip. Ow. That is not the real entrance. Come on over here. You can find the real entrance somewhere around these oh, legs. Where could this entrance possibly be? Well, I would check anywhere other than behind the base, Pip. Don't go back there. Behind the base? Well, what's behind the base, Louie? 
Uh oh. No, 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 no. You weren't supposed <gasps> to see this. Uh oh. This is the entrance. And wait a second. How do I get inside? Oh, well, Pip, that's the thing. You're going to need a passcode to get inside. And <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but there is no passcode unless you can find a hint somewhere. There's gotta be a passcode somewhere. Come on. Where is this passcode? Oh my gosh, guys. Look, Pip is running all the way away from the hint I left on the wall. This is so funny. He's running all the way around my Milo and Chip build to try and find a code. It's gotta be on one of these walls. Well, maybe you should look a little bit closer, Pip. It might be a little bit more obvious than you think. A little bit more obvious, but I looked everywhere. Well, maybe you need to look somewhere a little closer to the door. Closer to the door? Gotta be around here somewhere. Uh -oh. Wait a second. Wait, what, what are you seeing here, Pip? This doesn't look like it's naturally generated. Come on, this says one, two, three, four. Wait, what? Oh. How did you figure that one out, Pip? Because I'm a genius, Louie. Now watch me plug in one, two, three, four. Oh, no, guys, he got into my base, but there is no way you get through this parkour challenge. It is very difficult. Oh. What are you talking about, Louie? Parkour is easy. Um, Pip, I don't think so. You just fell into the lava and died. Oh, Louie, why did you make this so hard? Make it easier. Nope, I have to leave it the same difficulty. After all, you were the one who said time's up, Pip. I'm not allowed to build anymore. Well, that last death didn't count. That was just a warm-up. All right, go ahead, Pip. Keep running. You can do this. Come on. Oh, no, I almost had it. Oh, uh, no, no, you keep dying on that tiny little iron bar. Well, you know, Pip, you could just jump over it like this. Wait, I can jump over it? Oh, let me try that. Surely nothing bad will happen. Come on, and I did it. All right, good job, Pip, but be very careful not to land on these spikes. They are very dangerous. Oh, I'm an expert at dodging spikes. Just watch this. All right, there is one jump, there is two, and... Whoa, Pip, you're a lot better at parkour than I thought you were. Yeah, Louie, I'm a pro. What can I say? Oh, just keep going, Pip. There's no way you make it to the next room. Oh, yes, it is. This parkour is easy. All right. Well, it seems like you got to the end of the parkour, but <laughs> where do you go now, buddy? Um, how do I get out of here? Wait, I have to go up there. But how are you going to get there, Pip? Well, maybe there's some slime blocks down there because I see slime blocks up there. Uh -oh. Let me just jump right here and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? How did you know that was there? Well, because I'm a genius, Louie. You should know this by now. Oh, well, I guess you do have a big brain in that head of yours. But you prop. But the thing is, Pip, you might be all brain and no brawn. Wait. Because there's no way you're beating this parkour oh, room. This is easy, Louie. It's only moving parkour. What's so bad about that? Well, Pip, that's the thing. Moving parkour is a lot more difficult to do. So, good luck. Oh, this is easy, Louie. Just watch this. Um, uh, wait, whoa. Wait, <laughs> Pip, what did you just do? You cheated. I'm a ninja legend. Oh, you're not allowed to go up that way, Pip. I'm not letting you cheat. That was unfair, Louie. You have to do this parkour. I mean, you have to go up here and then jump to the staircase. Fine, Louie. I'll do it easily. Watch this. Right. Whoa! And, oh, no, Pip, no. <laughs> you just died. Oh, that didn't count, Louie. That was a warm-up as well. I don't know, Pip. I think that counted. You've died so many times inside of my Milo and Chip base. No, I haven't. I've only died, like, once. No. Everybody in the comments down below, comment how many times Pip has died. Just to prove the point. Oh, but let me just jump on this real quick. Come on! And... Ow. No, no. Pip, what are you doing? Ow! I'm on fire! Oh, come on. I just need to try this again when I stop burning. Come on, Pip. You're a ninja. You can do this. Come on! No, no way! You're a oh. parkour master, Pip. That's 
crazy, but just that was follow so me. Easy. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Pip. I definitely know it wasn't, but follow me up here onto the slime blocks. <laughs> Alright, let me just go up here. <laughs> Whee! Just land on the slime and bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! Oh, that was so fun! I know it was, Pip, but whoa, look, a chest! And, um, there's something inside of it called the awesome seed goblin! You should totally place it down! Oh, I love seeds! Wait, is it going to give me some seeds, Bluey? Uh oh! Wait a second! Help! Oh, you're gonna die Help! now, buddy! Oh no, this is not a seed goblin! This is a mutant zombie! Gosh. If you want to survive, maybe you have to find a secret chest around here with some loot inside. Oh, I already opened the chest, Louie. There was the sea goblin. Not that secret chest, Pip. Maybe a block around here that looks very out of place. Oh, I mean, there is a diamond block right there. Let me try that. Oh, wait, no, don't try that. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. It seems like he got it. He got a bunch of netherite armor from that diamond block. Block. And uh-oh, Pip, you're really going to have to fight now. Oh my gosh, I'm on one heart right now. Luckily, I have netherite armor, though. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, Pip. You can fight this zombie. Just keep attacking oh, I it. I got the sword now. Now it's time for you to die. Oh, come on. Die. It's time for you to go home. Wait, what, Pip? You're doing so much damage. That's insane. Oh, yeah, but I need to keep eating this bread. My health is getting so low. Come on, Pip. All you have to do is beat this zombie. Just attack it. And wait, you knocked it I down. I did it. Or did you, Pip? Maybe you should look behind that was you. so easy. And who is hitting me? And whoa. It's back, Pip. And it just killed you. Louise, you didn't tell me it could get back up. Did you give it its reboot card from Fortnite? No, Pip. I did not give it a Fortnite reboot reboot card, but this zombie definitely has more than one life. I hope you can beat it. Well, I'll and just burn it. Uh, wait, what? You figured out the zombie's weakness. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. I was wondering why you gave me a flint and steel. Oh, well, whatever. Pip, you're never going to find the passcode for this door. Oh, surely I will, Louie. Maybe you put it on a wall somewhere like the entrance to this cave. Nope, maybe you should try again. Oh, it's probably under here, isn't it? No. Wait, Pip, why would it be there? <laughs> I don't see anything in that hole. Well, if it's not this, what could it be? Wait a second. Oh, what no. is this block uh, doing? <laughs> no, don't look in there. It found the passcode. I got the passcode. Good. All right, Pip. Well, I guess you got that passcode fair and square. Go ahead and enter it into that door, and you can progress to the next room. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, did I win yet, Louie? Well, not yet, buddy. There's still a lot of traps left to go. I hope you're ready for them, because now it's time to do a Squid Game Parkour Challenge. Oh, Louie, I'm amazing at Squid Game. Just watch this. Boom! Um, no! Oh, Pip! Oh, that's terrible. You fell for the first jump. This glass bridge area was completely fake. You fell down. Oh, how do I do this? And wait a second. Why are there red blocks down there? Oh, um, that, Pip, is just because I like the color red. So I just put them there. No reason at all. Uh huh. Well, if I died on this block and there's a red block beneath it, maybe I should go to the blocks without red blocks. What? Oh, well, I guess you managed to complete the Squid Game parkour pin. But now, it's time to go ahead and get your wings because you're about to fly through all of these hoops. Oh, I'm so excited for this, Louie. I'm a great flyer after all. I'm a duck. All right, well, go ahead, Pip. Put your wings on and take flight. You have to go through all of these hoops, no matter how difficult it gets. All right, let me just start this and go. Whoa! Wait, Pip, you got through both of those holes, and now you're going through all the red Whee! hoops. No way! You actually managed to complete the Elytra course. That is insane. Oh, that was so easy, and I did it so quickly. 
Oh, well, I guess you are pretty good at flying. After all, you are a little duck. But yep. I'm pretty sure you won't get through this next room. <laughs> this is a trivia room, and there's no way you can win. Oh, it will be easy, Louie. I saw there were a bunch of spikes down there. Oh, so what is this first question? Whose base is the best? Yeah, I wonder Louis. whose base is the best, Pip. You made this question before you even saw my base. And since this is your base, of course you're going to say your base is the better base. What? No way, Pip. I thought you would have chosen the other one. Oh, but it's fine. This next question will definitely catch you out. Who is the best, Milo or Chip? Oh, this is easy, Louie. The correct answer is Milo. Wait, what? You were supposed to fall into the spikes. But you jumped over it like a parkour jump. <laughs> yep, Louie. I'm such a goat at parkour. Oh, I know you are, Pip. But this room is going to be very... Very, very hard for you to beat. You're going to have to look around this room and find out what I'm going to challenge you at. Challenge me? Why don't I just climb up the ladder and keep going? No, I'm making it impossible to climb up that ladder unless you beat me as a challenge in this room. Fine, Louie. What dumb challenge do you have in this room? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked. You see these diving boards, right? Oh, yeah, what about them? Well, you're going to have to beat me at a dive-off. Whoever has the best diving trick can go through this room. All right, Louie. I have amazing diving tricks. All right. Well, first, you have to get a diving trick that can beat this one. I call it the backflip. Oh. What? Try and beat that, Pip. I don't think there's anything you could do to win. Oh, Louie, I can easily beat you at the diving competition. Just watch this. Whee! Wait, what? You just break danced in the air. You know what? I think that was a way better trick than mine. Oh, I guess you can get through this room then, Pip. Follow Yippee! me. Here we go. Up to the next room. But be very careful not to touch this laser. I won't touch the laser, Louie. And whoa! Where are there so many lasers? Well, Pip, because this is a laser maze room, you're going to have to complete the parkour inside of here not to die to those lasers. There's a laser in my way. Let me just get on this side of the laser and let's start jumping. All right, come on, Pip. You can do it. You just have to be very, very careful about where you jump to. Oh, where do I go next? Do I go over there or do I go over here? You definitely don't go over here, Pip. This is where you will die a million times over. Oh, well, there's a block over here. What if I try to jump over here and then try to jump over here? Whoa. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Pip, you just jumped over all of the lasers. And it seems like you're one block off being able to get to my vault. You just have to get through this door. Oh, yeah, Louie. I'm a pro and you have a pet. Passcode door again. That isn't going to stop me, Louie. I find all your passwords. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm pretty sure there is no password for this door. You're going to really struggle to find one. Come on, where is this password? And Wait a second, I see this stone black, Louie. Is this a hidden chest? No, Pip, there is no hidden chest here. But, oh no, guys, look how close he is to figuring it out. I hope he doesn't. How did you get over there, Louie? Let me join you. Oh, hey, Louie. Wait, uh-oh, uh -oh. this isn't good. If Pip turns around, he's going to know he can get in the vault. No, anyways, let me get to this vault. Oh, wait, I can just jump right here. No, it seems like you just defeated my Milo and Chip build. You win the build, Pip. Ooh, me, I am the champion. Wait, but whose base was the best? We still need to vote. Uh, I don't think we need to vote, Louie. My base was clearly better. What? No, my base was way better. Well, Louie, your base was super big and super realistic, so I think I'll give the W today to you. Whoa, wait, Pip, just let me win this build challenge. And it's all because I use slash slash paste. Slash slash what? Uh-oh, uh, gotta go. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Yeah,